My name is Mina Chen, and uh, welcome to my studio. Uh, today, uh, we're going to do a lotus. A uh, lotus is a special flower plant. It's a native uh, in Asia. It's uh, among the India and the China. It grows in the mud and water and uh, blooms in summer. Lotus has large flowers and large leaves. The dedicated beauty is much more than just a flower. It is a symbol of purity, grace, and uh, sacred. And now I'm going to start to uh, introduce the general instruction. One part of the roots. And they have many small roots around. And uh, of course, then we have the echo water on the top. And the flower, there's a multiple pattern. It's just like a regular flower. They have the stigma, except in here we call the seed part. Then they have the stamen. And have uh, the big petal flower, flower petal. And this is the flower. Then you have the leaves, which is over shape, but they're very big. So the this is center. Then the leaves is over shape. And with this, the wings come from the center. Then focus out. And we have a uh, the small bud, small flower. This is the sepal, this is the small petals. Then also we have uh, more small leaves come out. And uh, of course this, uh, when this grow up, then, then dries up, then the seeds we can eat. So here the sepal. That's the most time the artist paint. The sepa. Now, this flower special is the only one stem goes with one flower or one leaves. So, they all collect to here. They all come here.
And they all, now they all collect together. And they eat. On the scale of the stem, they all have so-called little hair, skin hair. You call you call it prick, little prick. And there. That's very special for this flower. So this is a very simple explanation of the uh, structure. Thank you. Uh, now I'm going to do the splash style of the lotus. Uh, first, I like to do the leaf first. I use a big brush and dip into the darker ink. I do the center point leaves first. Then from here, I just go Swap and swap my brush goes out, outer, outer, outer end. Then on the other side, I'm going to paint some, the leaves is being folded. Now I'm going to put the, some stone blue color on the lighter area. I'm going to do, use lighter ink to the further away leaves. Then I use the, the stone green to do the color on the lighter, lighter area. Now I'm going to do a flower. The flower uses uh, pink, so I mix uh, uh, red with white color. Then something you use the red brush, brush style. Also, I'm going to do a, a small 
Prao vai te pan. Now I'm going to do a small leaves. Then I just go can do the stand. I use a dark ink to draw a little vein on the small leaves. Then I finish up the, the finish up the stand. And then also should have some stain come out of here. And then in here we cannot see. And they use the dark ink to the to the hair of the stain. So the flower is kind of big, so I try uh, to do something little small and narrow uh, to balance the whole painting. So I do some grass. And I also do some plant for floating on the on the water. Also, we can either do the water or don't don't draw the water. People can imagine. People know that's in the water. So we, we just do some water, can do some water line here. So that's a uh, finish the uh, simple a composition of the lotus. See, you can write a letter, or you can put your seal stamped on your on your painting. Then it's all finished down. Today I paint the lotus with the splash technique. The goal is to show the mood of the scenery instead of the form of the subject. And many artists like to paint the lotus in this style. With the past 30 sessions, I covered the most basic knowledge and the techniques in Chinese brush painting. There is one more thing I'd like to show you, which is the paint on the fan. This is one of the favorite material artists like to paint for hundreds of years. Thank you for coming. See you next session.